Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black C, and I have another video for you guys. Today, I want to talk about Bitcoin, take a look at the crypto market, because we are seeing some moves to the upside. So without further ado, please like this video, subscribe to the channel. We're getting closer and closer to 15,000 subscribers. It helps us out so much. Let's hop in. So guys, right now, Bitcoin is trading at $51,800, up about a half a percent on the day. Bitcoin dominance has come down a little bit to 52.01%. When you exclude stablecoins, we're trading about 54%. We came down about half a percent over the past few days. We're seeing some of this liquidity move into the altcoins. Ethereum has been rallying, and when Ethereum rallies, that's usually when you see the liquidity start to move into some of these altcoins. Uh, all in all here, guys, uh, we did see a little bit of a breakdown on Bitcoin a couple days ago, but we are still closing above a very, very important level. Yesterday, I talked about if we close above $51,000, we're probably going to be continuing this move to the upside, and that's exactly what has happened. So guys, when we look over the daily, you can see we closed above 51000 We're starting to find some structure here. I'm expecting this to trade sideways a little bit, maybe even start to make this move to the upside before the end of February here, guys. Uh, my target here is between 55000 57000 in the short term, but all in all, more up for longer. I think that's kind of the main takeaway from this. When we look over at the weekly, kind of give a better picture. Guys, closing this weekly candle above $51,000 in the next two hours and 56 minutes is very, very big. It's a very big deal. Uh, continuation on the long-term time frame. Guys, we're bullish. We're bullish here. We're very bullish. Um, I would say that if you're in the market, now is probably the time to be Sitting on your hands and patiently waiting if you're feeling underexposed. Quite frankly, I would not want to be in your position. But if you see some pullbacks, uh, there, there will be pullbacks that will come. And if, if you are feeling underexposed, that will be the time to probably layer in significantly because we're getting closer and closer to this halving. And in my opinion, closer and closer to a larger move to the upside. So I do want to talk about over on Twitter. You can follow me at 333 Black C. I saw some people talking about how asking... What guys, what what about people that aren't in the crypto space? Are they talking about crypto yet? Are people asking you, hey, how do I buy Bitcoin? Hey, have you heard about this meme coin? And seeing what people are saying over on Twitter, guys, nobody is really talking about that. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. Are people asking you about crypto that usually don't ask you about crypto? You know, when you start to hear people say, hey, I just bought Dogecoin. I, let's see if we can... If it can hit $10 or saying some outlandish things like that, usually when you start hearing stuff like that, you're 30% away from the top or the top is already in. I'm curious, guys. Let me know in the comment section below if you're seeing any of that uh, type of verbiage from people that aren't usually in this crypto space because, to be quite honest with you guys, I'm not seeing that yet. I'm not seeing the mass mania, the euphoria. I think there's not a lot of people that have extra money on the sidelines to put into the crypto space. I think a lot of people are struggling right now with how the economy is. You know, back when we were around here, uh, February, about a year ago, I was talking about how there was $2.2 trillion in American savings accounts in 2020 and in 2021. And now, we fast forwarded to October, or I should say July of 23. July 2023, there was only $158 billion in American savings. And it was projected for us when we reached October of 2023 that there was only going to be no money left. There was going to be no money left in American savings account. And I thought, I was predicting, we were probably going to come down and bottom out a little bit when that happened and nobody was going to be able to layer into crypto as we made our way to the upside following the Bitcoin spot ETF news. And that's exactly what I see playing out right now. Uh, nobody has money to be putting into this space, and really it's the institutions putting this money in, and they're front-running the retail It's because uh, the retail can't be in the correct position. They don't have enough money, and that's really what creates that mass mania and euphoria in the market, and that makes me think that we're early here, guys, uh, that I think we have a lot more room to go to the upside. I know that sounds very moon boy ish moon boy talk but um that's what i'm seeing with what's going on in the overall world with crypto and uh, i i do think that we see this continue out and i do i do think that come third quarter of 2024 and leading into 2025 we're probably going to see some very very euphoric prices maybe around that 150 140,000 price level 
hopefully breaking above 100,000. 100,000 is a very, very large psychological level that's going to be difficult to break through. Hopefully we break above it, but I do believe that we will at some point, especially as you get closer to 2025. All in all, guys, if you're here and you're exposed, uh, be patient. Uh, the rewards are going to come. You, you, you deserve it from all of the blood that you've witnessed from the downside. Uh, this has been the most brutal bear market that we've seen so far in the crypto space, so you will be rewarded. Uh, I do want to take a quick look at Crowcoin because Crowcoin right now is coming down a little bit, which is unfortunate as we see altcoins moving. Bitcoin Doms is coming down. We're seeing Crowcoin move down with it, which is unfortunate. But that being said, guys, still Crowcoin bull. Still think we're going to expand and break out of this 10 cent price level. It's just going to take time. We need to see that euphoria come back into the market. We need those retail investors to come back to crypto.com because what's the first thing they're going to do when they want to get into crypto? They're going to Google crypto, and the first thing that's going to come up is crypto.com Crowcoin. Be patient, guys. I think that the mania will create a very, very large move to the upside for Crowcoin. It will just take some time. And I expect it to happen later on than 2024. I think it will probably happen whenever we start to peak out or break previous all-time highs on Bitcoin. So you need to be patient with that. But guys, if you like these quick updates, you like this type of content, please like this video, subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out a lot. Also, check out some awesome referral links we have down below. We have a $4,100 sign-up bonus to Femex. All you got to do is click the link, deposit, trade a little bit, get a bunch of free money. It's very, very nice. But that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.